Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well, and in this video I'm going to teach you guys all about method chaining in Python, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. If you find this video helpful, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support will help keep this channel running. All right, everybody, let's talk about method chaining. Method chaining is used to call multiple methods sequentially, and each call performs an action on the same object and returns self. Here's an example of how method chaining would be useful. Let's say we have a class named car. Car has four methods, turn on, drive, break, and turn off. They will all just print a simple message beginning with turn on. Turn on will print, you start the engine. Drive will print, you drive the car. Brake will print, you step on the brakes, and turn off will print, you turn off the engine. Let's say we have a car object, car equals car. And I would like my car object to use its turn on method immediately followed by the drive method. With how we've been coding things previously, we may write something such as the name of the object, in this case car, dot, and then the method to use. I would like my car to use the turn on method followed by car dot drive. So currently this will take two lines of code, but this will print you start the engine and you drive the car. Now with method training, we can call multiple methods sequentially. Now the format on this is going to be a little bit different. And if we were to write the same code using method chaining, it might look a little something like this. After the first method call, we would add dot and then an additional method that we would like to call. So for example, after the turn on method, we'll immediately call the drive method. But there's one more thing that we need to add when we're using Python to do method chaining. So normally this by itself will not work. When we call a method in Python, if there is nothing that is returned, Python will return none. So as you can see here, attribute error none type object has no attribute of drive. So we need to return self under each method that we're using method chaining with. So let's add return self to each of these methods. So let's do that for drive, break, and the turn off method. And this should work now. You start the engine, you drive the car. So think of it like this, after we finish calling this method, Python is going to return self, so it's going to return car. So then we'll immediately use car.drive. Now here's another example. Let's say I would like to call the break method followed by the turn off method. So that would be car.break parentheses followed by dot turn off. So this will print, you step on the brakes, you turn off the engine. Now here's an extreme example. Let's say we would like to call all four methods in order. So that would be car dot turn on followed by dot drive dot break dot turn off. So this will call all four methods in order starting with the leftmost method. You start the engine, you drive the car, you step on the brakes, you turn off the engine. Now, if you have one long method chain like this, it might become difficult to read after a while. So what I would recommend if you're doing a lot of method chaining is that after each method call, just hit enter to move each method call down to a new line. So it'll look something like that. And this backslash might be inserted. This is a line continuation character. So this is a little more readable, but you know, it still does the same thing basically. All right, everybody, so that is method training. It's used to call multiple methods sequentially, and each call performs an action on the same object and returns self. If you would like a copy of this code, I will post all of this in the comments section down below. But yeah, that is how to do method chaining in Python.